Babe, what the hell was that? So today we're doing red wine, right? Damn, all sorts of Australian red wine again. I don't know why I can't find any red wine that's not from Australia, but that's what it is. It's Australian red wine, and that's what I'm doing, alright? So we've got, uh, I've already poured myself some Merlot, which is really good. I like Merlot. Uh, this is a above and beyond. It's, it's a little bit dry for my taste. I do like the Merlot, but uh, not a dry Merlot. Going over the rest, I've got a Sangiovese. Yes, I pronounce it properly, I know. Like a proper connoisseur. A Shiraz, obviously. And uh, what is this? A, a Cab Sav. That's the fancy way to say that, a Cab Sav. Cabernet Sauvignon. Sauvignon. <laughs> Sauvignon. These last two are Wayne's. Uh, Caldora, obviously, and this above and beyond, Bed Bath and Beyond uh, wine. Uh, and the nice thing about these wines is they're under or below forty dollars. <laughs> if you get what I'm saying, under or below forty dollars. And a one, and a two, and a one, two. Take it. Red, red wine. It's a like a fine woman they only get better with age no that's wrong <laughs> so we'll start with the Merlot as I said already a little bit uh, dry for my taste but oh well don't knock it back like a cowboy I don't know if I can do the San Jose just just like a twist off no 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 I can't open balls that aren't twist off Anyway, okay, we'll put the same device aside for another time. Flipping non twisty situationals on the bottles. The Shiraz! So, this is a young one, this is 2018. Oh, it's a bit. Oh, it smells some fish in there actually. We'll try it. Oh crap, the Maloma's in there. Chuck it out. Chuck it out. Can you drink this? Mix Shiraz and the Merlot and then expect it to be on my ass. I'm not a, what do I look like? A guy that just drinks stuff for the fun of it? I don't just drink weird mixes. Anyway, so we'll start with the Shiraz. Shiraz obviously being a uh, dark cherry and raspberry. Combined floral pepper aromas. I like cherry and raspberry, especially dark cherry. Smells like, uh, then smells like, yep, red wine. Definitely a red wine hint in there. That's sharp compared to my low. That's freaking sharp, jeez. It's just so unlike me to just uh, sip, sip. Strong. And that's how you that's how you aerate your wine. You decant it like that in your mouth. You put it in your mouth, push it back and forth, puts all the air from your nostrils into the wine, infuses it. You get all that dark cherry raw. I taste the chop chip. Dark raspberry and cherries and stuff now. Anyway, we'll move on to the 
Cap's head. <laughs> and a bit of luck. Cap's heads are one of my top red ones, um, other than obviously a Riesling. I like the Riesling, it's my favorite red wine, but then Cap's heads are pretty good too. Mmm. And then let it go down. Yeah, chuck it away. <laughs> it's pretty good. Oh, yeah, I have to do that. Get into it. None of this stuff. You want to get right into it. Yeah, that's my lip up to be a side of the thing for Take my lip up. <laughs> Woo! Get high just on the smell. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. What does this one have in it? Was it, the, was it? it was a black one. Blackberry. Oh, Blackberry family. Oh, Blackberry family. <laughs> uh, cherry and cedary oak. I haven't seen anything with like strawberry in it. I know what you guys are thinking. Is this idiot gonna pour milk with his red wine? Everyone knows you don't put milk in a red wine. There's chocolates over there. You put strawberry milk in red wine. You stick with the colors. All of a sudden it gives it like a nice dark purple. I see that darker. Oh, look at the sexy legs. You know what it is? Look at that. Got the higher alcohol content again. It's doing that yogurty cheesy thing that the, that the first wine did. I don't know why it happened. Oh, I definitely smell strawberry in it now. There's some strawberry in there. Hints of, hints of wine. Strawberry, lots of strawberry. It's like a good tasty cocktail. It's definitely going to be good for going up. <laughs> Drink a lot of this, we you actually made like a whole container of this. Like a wine slushy, And then we dine it, and then when it comes back up, smooth as. <laughs> anyway. Woo! Oh, that's working quick. Okay, that's me. That's, I'm done for today. I've got to go hit bathrooms at least. And there you have it! A red wine review. All below and under. Under and below. $40. Go on.